Auto Orient is a simple yet effective tool to make dimensional illusions like this one. So let's see how to use it inside Adobe After Effects. Okay, first things first, we need a background with a light pattern. So I'll add a new solid layer called BG. Now we're gonna create the light pattern by adding the gradient ramp effect and placing the color sources in a way that creates some kind of light source in the top right. Then choose two shades of the same color like blue and done. Next, add another solid for your main circle and add the gradient ramp again. Choose whatever color you want, just don't make it the same. Then add the CC Sapphire effect to make it look like a planet. I'll swap the colors. Okay, now we need to change a few settings for the Sapphire effect. Under light section, make sure the light intensity is at 100. Set the light height to minus 50. And match the light direction with the light pattern you've created in the background. Then for the shading, set the specular to 100 roughness to 0.4 and reflective to 13. Now we have an interesting light pattern on our planet. I'll add the glow effect to make a bit of light around it as well. Set the glow to be based on alpha channel, glow radius to 20 and the intensity to 0.2. Glow colors should be set to A and B, color looping to sawtooth B greater than A, and get the color A from the planet or something like that. Then duplicate the glow, set the radius to 150, and choose a darker version of the color you have. Now make it a 3D layer and duplicate it. Let's call this one the orbiter. Reduce the size and position it at a distance you want it to orbit around. Then change its colors to something different. Now to make the orbit, I'm going to create a null object and call it Spinner. Make it a 3D layer and parent the orbiter to the null object. Now we can make any kind of rotation we want with this spinner. I'll make a simple Y rotation. So keyframe the rotation to go one round at any speed you want. But you see the problem here, it's not an actual 3D object, so we can see the back of it while spinning. First, let's alt click on the Y rotation to add the loop out expression. This makes the orbit go forever. Maybe a bit slower. Okay. Then make a new camera, preferably 50mm and above. And now the secret sauce that creates the 3D illusion. Select the orbiter and go to layer, transform, auto orient. Select orient towards camera and hit OK. Now our little circle looks like a full planet because it stays face to face with the camera all the time. Therefore, we don't see the back of it. But if you look at it from a different perspective, you can see that there are still 2D layers. Now let's add an adjustment layer and add the noise effect to give a little texture to everything. I'll go with the subtle 10%, but you can go as crazy as you wish. You can also make a zoom out effect for the camera to make it more dramatic and you've successfully created a seemingly 3D scene with only 2D layers. Hope you learned something new in this one. You can get creative with the Auto Orient tool and use it to create different effects, so go ahead and enjoy it. Good luck!